Tyler is one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot speed in the grappling game. He is able to use throws in judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them. From the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he can take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the points. Medoff's 
trying to get the triangle here. Let's see if he can close the show. Oh, that's getting deep. Oh, he's out. All right, side control now. Trying to guard pass here. Not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Duplessis. And there it is, another strike. Gets through on the ground. Duplessis looking to pass here, denied by the opponent. Beautiful transition. Great shot from the top position. the closed guard. And he's gonna try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. Looks like he's trying for a submission now. Ooh, that looks pretty tough. Oh, he escapes! He got out! He, wow, that is great submission defense. Duplessis, he's looking to pass out of the half guard here, maybe looking for side control. He's denied. And there you go, again, half far. Not there yet, but might get the submission here shortly. Duplessis is looking to pass out of the half guard and attain side control here, but unable to do so. Left eye starting to shut a little bit. That bear's watching. 90 seconds now to go in round one. All right, working inside the closed guard now. Mago Medov getting worked here from the top. You don't want to take too many more of these ground and pound strikes. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra. Duplessis going for a choke. Oh, he's got it locked in. He's got that arm triangle deep. Oh, how about that? He gives up on the submission. Look pretty tight to me. Under a minute to go. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Drakus Duplessis. Oh, another strike lands from the top. In the half guard. All right, so he can't get it here again. Good awareness by the defensive fighter. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pretty bad. He's not touching every punch that lands. He wants you to feel it. Working out of the half guard here. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Great defense by the fighter. Inside control, you got a ton of options. He goes deep up front. Second round, straight ahead. This is a good round to fight it. Very close. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands. His opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent's staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. Ready to fight? Ready. Second round underway. All right, so here we go with our next round. In the previous round, he rocked his opponent pretty good. We'll see if he can piggyback on that momentum. Let's see if he can continue the onslaught. Takedown defense. Closes the gap and gets the single collar tie now. Now he gets a more dominant position with the underhook. He is going to start to drive knees over and over. You got to be careful here. You got to move. Well, he told you off the top of the broadcast he could do it all, but he's leaning on the striking tonight and continues to hit his opponent really with most.
of what he's throwing. Well, he can't miss. I mean, it's like the guy's throwing a baseball at the side of the ball. He, everything he throws, he lands, and he's showing that he can do it, and he can do it in abundance. The pace that this young man is fighting at is truly something special. All right, looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now, but he's got to start to protect it. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. That was nice. Well, this is a tough fighter to buck off. Very good pressure and work here by Nurmagomedov. Beautiful ground strikes landed. Man, another one lands. He's trying to pound his opponent's head through the canvas. Beautiful ground and power. And it looks like he has a cut now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Drakus Duplessis. All right, setting up for a submission now. Oh, look out, folks. That is tight. It looks like it's getting going. Oh, oh somehow, some way he got out. These guys are back and forth, but the submission defense wins this transition. All right, so a grueling battle on the ground, and no surprise, the crowd pops in appreciation as the fighters work their way back to the This field. is an educated crowd, J.A. They appreciate high-level grappling, and that's exactly what they got in that exchange. Well, his wrestling has been a great equalizer thus far in his UFC career and gets the single leg takedown. And you know that it's his shot. It's his shot of choice, a single leg takedown, and he's securing it, and he's doing it and scoring it over and over again. Nurmagomedov's eye starting to swell now. Oh, this is where you don't want to be, though. Under two minutes now to go in round two. Oh, and he locks up a triangle now. You set off the top. His go-to submission looks pretty tight to me. Oh, and if he's got you in there, then you know that you're in a lot of trouble. He's starting to shift the arm across. If he gets it across, he's going to start pulling down on the head, really getting the squeeze and trying to get the submission victory. Looks like he's got the sub locked in tight now. All right, just as we saw a few seconds ago, he finds the home for another ground and pound strike. Beautiful punch lands there from inside the guard. All right, full guard now, DC. And for the guy on top, he needs to build posture or just go to the next position, start shoving that knee through, trying to get the half guard, which in turn will lead to more opportunities for advancement. But if you're on the bottom, you need to be anticipating, you need to be framing, you need to be moving, looking for opportunities to either reverse the position or get back to your feet. Side control now. Great submission defense. Most fighters will tell you offensive wrestling is the hardest, most exhausting things. Especially if you're just running the guy over, Jonathan, he just gets up. Oh, almost like you saw the skin swell right away after he landed that strike. So that trainer's gonna have to bring in the end swell to try to deal with the swelling because this guy is getting pieced up. But at least staying busy on the bottom. He's got to start throwing down. And now he's got the back. Duplessis' cheek looks like it's cut here, starting to bleed a little bit now. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, so the round is over, but not before damage was done. Cut on the cheek, sustained in that round. Cut man in there quickly as usual to try to seal it up. He doesn't want to be there. All right, so back to the stools we go. They say defense wins championships, and he has not defended well tonight. He isn't trying, or at least it doesn't seem like he's trying. He has got to move his head. He's trying to react when the punch is already coming, and that's not working. If he takes many more of these shots, this fight is going to be stopped due to the swell. You ready to fight? You ready? 
Third round underway. Pretty good stuff getting that kick home. Good job. Oh, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Getting lit up right now, John. He's going guillotine. That guillotine is very tight. Oh, he got out. Oh, he's got him in a crucifix now. All right, so he's setting up for submission here. Oh, that submission looks tight. Trying to buck the hips. Looked like he got the hand ready to tap. I mean, look at that. What a beautiful display of submission defense. Not panicking in a position that is very, very difficult to deal with. Are working on the ground here. His opponent's feet on the hips. Good work from the top here by Nurmago Medov. Oh, staying busy from top position. He lands another ground strike there. All right, half guard position here. We'll see what he can do with it. A lot of weapons at his disposal from this dominant position. Oh, man. I feel for a wrestler, this is the most dominant position in all of fighting because wrestlers love control. Right. And to have your upper body free and your leg able to hold your opponent in position, it is like striking gold. Build your posture. Throw your punches, big damage, but then always control the far side. Underhook, this is a great position for a top fighter. Can't get it. Good awareness by the defensive fighter. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Nermago Meta. Let's go, let's work. Get to this. And there you go, again, half guard. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Oh, he's got the Kimura locked in. Oh, the submission defense holds up. He gets out. He said that he was ready for everything that would be thrown at him. In that position, he showed that and proved it. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Nirago Meta. Man, submission defense is a powerful thing. Offense keeps going for it. Defenders held up every step of the way. Yeah, the defense has done a great job just making sure he leaves nothing long, no submission attempts. Even when they get him, he continues to stay calm and patient, and he's defending these take these submissions. Now he's going full mount. Yep, got to be very careful there. Changing the position. So the crowd absolutely loving it as these fighters work their way back to the feet. The fighters are back to their feet now, and they can take in the applause because... All right, ref has called a break to the action here, likely to call in the doctor to look at that cut and a lot of blood donation going on right now. And for as fun as this fight has been, I can only hope that the physician still lets this guy fight. He wants to fight. He wants to continue. Let him go. Doctor talking to the referee right now, and... All right, it looks as though the fight's going to continue. Fans will appreciate that decision, at least for now. They will. It's been a fun fight to this point. Let's see how he deals with this bad cut. All right, so the ref will get the action back underway after that brief health and safety check. And to no one's surprise, the fans support the decision for the action to continue. Absolutely. I mean, this official decided you can go. Even though at times the fighter may question whether or not he can do it, we have very smart ringside officials that make a determination, and the determination is... Get your butt out there and fight. Let's see what happens. And we have a very smart fighter who's going to have to start protecting that injury to prevent it from getting any worse. He passes to half guard. This is a terrible position. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Nermago Medov. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Yeah, he's going to try to attack Kimura here. He'll try to get him up on his right hip 
so he can get pressure to... Mermago Madoff's back inside control here. Just because he got taken down doesn't mean he ain't gonna punch. Lands a beautiful strike from the bottom. Final seconds of round three. Well, he lands another strike there, DC, and no surprise, the swelling only getting worse. It's getting worse. You know, we talked about this very early, how he needed to change something. He hasn't changed it, and now the swelling is starting to get bad. All right, so the fighters head back to the stools, and hopefully this fight can continue. That is a severe cut. We'll see if the cut man can do some good work here. All right, DC, we got a few clips of the damage done in that round. Can see where things really started to escalate. Yeah, really opened up that cut, John. The blows are just devastating. He's got to get out of the way more. I mean, if this guy won't do it himself, somebody's got to help him. Yeah. Because you cannot keep taking these types of shots. You ready to fight? Ready. Do Fourth it. round, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. That one certainly found the target. Oh, masterful job by him controlling the range and other punch lands. Very fast, like he wins. He's got a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Every time he lands, it's right on that cut. That is going to have a profound impact on him moving forward. Big ground and pound. Nice positional control here. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. And very effective with the ground and pound. Look at that. Recognize he was about to lose position. Oh, big shots from the top. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really affected with their strikes in this one. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry them through these very tough moments. Marco Manoff's trying for a submission here. Oh, compromising spot here. Triangle choke is locked in. Under three minutes now to go in the round. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. Duke Plessis' face is a hot mess, man. That cut on his cheek is getting worse by the minute and worse with every strike landed by his opponent. Relentless pressure from the top by Nermago Meta. Really good job to land these strikes from top position. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Duplessis. All right, half guard position for him here, and I can hear Dominic Cruz in the back of my head just screaming about underhooks somewhere. Yeah, somewhere. he loves I mean, but he's right, right? He's so right in terms of... If you're on your back in the half guard, one thing you can't be is flat on your back. You need to be up on an elbow. Right. You need to be half on the side. And you need to control the far side underhook. It is a battle for underhook when you're fighting in the half guard position on the back. It's getting really hard to watch him absorb shots on that eye. I wonder if the referee's thinking about calling in the doctor now. Well, well John, the entirety of the fight, that has been the target of his opponent. So he's landed a few big uppercuts already in DC. I know you're in the prediction business. You think he's gonna set it up again? I am certain he's gonna try and set that up again. Expect it to come off of a left hook because 
off the left hook. You don't anticipate the next punch coming right up the middle. He's real good at trying to find that shot. Back and forth we go. These two guys are trading well shots. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. All right, so from being dominated to in the dominant position, nice reversal on the ground. Well, this is getting hard to watch, and sometimes you hear us say a fighter is too tough for their own good. Anybody want to save this athlete? Yeah, this is this is a classic case of that, where a guy is just too tough. He's not going to win this fight. He may as well throw in the towel. I mean, his corner can stop it, the referee can stop it, the doctor can stop it. Somebody needs to do something because this fight is over. He's got to be careful here. Great submission defense on this play tonight. Final seconds of the round. Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, heading back to the corner now after that round. And Duplessis' eye is in rough shape. I mean, I would just probably quit, but he's not going to do that. But I would not be surprised if the ringside position did come in and take a look at that here between rounds. All right, let us now get you some replays of all the damage done in that previous round, including the strike that opened up the cut. Yeah, some nasty strikes landed over the course of that round, and it opened up a nasty cut. He has got to find a way to change some things defensively, or that cut is just going to get worse and worse. And the worse it gets, the more he runs the risk of this fight getting stopped. You ready to fight? Ready. We have arrived at this fifth and final round. Duplessis cut on his cheek is nasty, leaky, leaky. That thing is leaky bad now. Nice great punch. Magomedov gets the single leg takedown. Nicely done there. Inside the close guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage? win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Duplessis. He passes the half. The ground strikes continue to pile up. Look at him attack that arm triangle on the opposite side. When it's time to finish, he will lock his hands, pass his body all the way to the opposite side, drop his chest to get all the way down to the opponent's neck to try to choke him out and finish his fight. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Nice defense. Duplessis, an absolute mess right now. There is blood everywhere. I wouldn't be surprised at all to see them call in the ringside position between rounds. Lands the ground and pound strike here. Oh, nice job to split his guard and get the ground strike home again. Duplessis in half guard. Continues to apply pressure here in half guard. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Duplessis. Landing strikes nicely here from top position. He's very accurate in the ground and pound, and it's showing because he's landing so consistently. Side control, he's pretty safe there. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Oh, in good position to rip off a Kimura here. Ooh, that Kimura looks tight. There will be no yellow flag for target. This ain't football. In fighting, it's all fair. And it's game over. This arena still digesting this result. What a win for him tonight, and he gets it done by submission, no less. He said he was going to get it done by submission. To watch an athlete call the shot is always fun. He should be very proud.
All right, so a wild round and a wild sequence there on the ground, DC. Talk us through the highlight. He's such a phenomenal grappler. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. We go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 32 seconds of round number five. For the winner by submission, Habib the Eagle, Nimbabwe Meta. All right, you heard it there from Bruce Buffer, Khabib Nurmagomedov, your winner by submission here tonight. This man is completely unstoppable, and he 